Engineers at Fukushima Daiichi in northeastern Japan have been trying to locate melted nuclear fuel inside a damaged reactor. They sent in a robotic camera last week, which they had to abandon after it got stuck. But it was able to send back helpful data, the first ever pictures of the interior of the containment vessel. Tokyo Electric Power Company engineers inserted the remote controlled robot into the number one reactor through a pipe. The snake like machine is designed to navigate around obstacles. It got stuck after moving a little more than 10 meters, but not before capturing important footage. Debris and machine parts are on its path. The temperature is reading at 20 degrees, and steam can be seen rising. Experts say water at the bottom of the vessel is evaporating due to the heat generated by the melted nuclear fuel. The radiation level is reaching 10 sieverts per hour in some places. The dose is deadly after 40 minutes of exposure. At one point, the reading shoots above 20 sieverts. TEPCO says they will analyze the footage to try to find ways to remove the molten fuel. The reactor melted down following an earthquake and tsunami four years ago. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has pledged to accelerate the spread of hydrogen vehicles in Japan. The cars run on electricity generated by hydrogen that reacts with oxygen in the air. Many see them as an alternative to gasoline cars. Abe opened central Tokyo's first hydrogen station on Monday. He called the filling station a symbol of the start of the hydrogen-powered society. We are seeing infrastructure building on an unprecedentedly rapid pace and scale. Japan has clearly become the front runner in the hydrogen energy revolution. Abe said Japan is the first country in the world to commercialize fuel cell cars and hydrogen stations. He said 76 filling stations are in planning across the country due to deregulation under his cabinet. People in Japan appear to be feeling more satisfied with the country's leaders. Results of an NHK poll suggest approval ratings for Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's cabinet are on the rise. NHK conducted a telephone survey from Friday to Sunday. More than 1,000 people responded. Support for Abe's cabinet is 51 percent. That's up five percentage points from a March poll. 34 percent do not support the cabinet, a drop of three points. People were asked which issue they think the country should tackle first. Over a quarter of respondents chose a review of the social security system. More than 20 percent said stimulus measures aimed at reviving the economy. 15 percent chose nuclear plant issues. Just over 10 percent said foreign policy and national security followed by fiscal reform at 9 percent. Pollsters also asked participants about the government's plan to relocate the U.S. Marine Futenma Air Station within Okinawa. Officials want to move the base away from a densely populated area, but the Okinawa governor opposes the plan. He says the relocation doesn't lessen the burden on the prefecture. Over a quarter of the respondents said yes to the relocation plan. More than 20 percent said no. 44 percent are not sure. Another question concerned the Chinese proposed Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Japan's government hasn't decided whether to join, citing a lack of transparency regarding its planned organization. 43% said this stance is appropriate. 11% said it is not appropriate. And 31% said they are not sure.